What is up with everyone, Paul from Timeless Productions here, and today we're going to be going over how to get the Ghost in Training achievement in Modern Warfare 2's campaign. So as you guys can see, all you have to do is reach the penthouse in El Sanambre without killing anyone or triggering the alarm at all. So, all you have to do is go from where you begin, out of the uh, elevator, all the way up to the penthouse. It's pretty simple, the way I did it might be a little bit different from how other people might do it. But in order to make sure that I did this 100% correctly right, we're going to go ahead and show you where I went, the path I took, and how I went. So, basically, after you come out of the elevator, all you're going to want to do is figure out the best case scenario of how to get up to the roof without alerting any guards. I spent a lot of time kind of checking around, just seeing what would be a better option of course make sure you're picking up bottles as well these will be very useful in distracting guards when you have to sneak past them so you don't trigger the alarm at all make sure you do not pick up any throwing knives as well just in case you accidentally forget or you get caught you just throw the throwing knife without thinking you just want to make sure no throwing knives are in your inventory whatsoever just in case it becomes first reaction so, again, once you come from the elevator, all you're going to have to do is head to a area of the El Sanambre area where I've gone once before. So, of course, you can't get inside the elevator. It does need a key card, which Diego has on him up in his room talking on the phone, doing whatever he's doing. So, if you come into this main room and you go around the side over here, you can actually come out uh, towards a set of stairs that will lead you up a little bit more. I took the garage way. I don't suggest taking the garage way just in case you do get caught, but if you follow my path, I went around the blue truck right here and went towards the front of it, and once I got towards the front of it, I went prone and went ahead and crawled towards this other, um, this other like fancy car that they have I'm not sure what kind it is and all you're gonna do is head over here to this door go ahead and open it and head out of here into this backyard type area so the set of stairs I was talking about earlier is the one that was right over there on our right and there will be a guard standing up there it's the guard on my right right here that will come down the stairs and he will go stand in that corner right there where he just was so once you get him to do that all you're gonna do is head up the stairs I was just seeing if there was a better way over here I do not suggest climbing on the roofs the enemies will spot you you can reload the checkpoint of course if you do have a save you might end up restarting but as you guys can see I got a save right after I left the garage so we were fine and we were good so like I said all you're gonna do is head for the stairs me though picked up a throwing knife but, like I said, I do not recommend it. Do not do that at all. I picked one up just in case things went sour. But, again, if you do it and you follow the path I'm taking, you won't need to make a backup plan in case things go wrong. So once you get up here, all you're going to do is head over here towards where Diego's room is, where the safe is in El Sanambre. Once you get inside of Diego's room, all you're gonna want to do is climb out the window we just passed right there as soon as you climb out of that window you'll get onto the outside area of the balcony and you will be able to make your way towards the roof a little bit better of course you're gonna want to either stay crouched but I suggest going prone just in case the guys on your left on the balcony can see you so I went prone just go ahead crawl all the way over here and you're gonna see the shingles or the um what are the, the things on the roof you're gonna see the other part of the roof over here you're just gonna want to crawl up here to where there's an open window if you go through this window this leads you into Diego's uh, bathroom Diego's right over there but you're good you don't bleh. you don't want to crawl up there you're gonna want to go ahead and head up the ladder once you get up here the penthouse is not far at all there is a couple of guards on the roof guarding from here to the penthouse and you're just gonna stay you're gonna want to stay crouched stay prone if you can again take your time use all the patience you have and just go ahead and crawl around the side the outskirts of it as far as you can go now once you get over here towards this way there is going to be a guard all the way over there on the right so what you're gonna want to do is come towards the middle area 
and crawl behind this white um, thing where the flowers are and you're just gonna want to stay there and slowly maneuver your way towards the right side so as far to the right as you can possibly go without being spotted by the guard on the right so we're just gonna go ahead I almost got spotted by the guard that was moving around on our left side but if you go ahead and crawl this way again just watch your compass you'll be able to tell if they're about to see you if they have any uh, indication that you're even there and you're gonna want to crawl all the way over here to the bar once you get to the bar you're gonna want to crawl right behind the bar and you're gonna want to use one of the bottles that you picked up in order to distract this guard away from you so what I did was crawled back as far as I could tossed a bottle all the way over here and once the bottle hits the guard will slowly of course make his way that way once he moves out of your line of sight all you're gonna to want to do is crawl towards the door or the ladder right there next to the door once you get all the way over here you're gonna to want to go ahead climb up the ladder right here and once you get up here Sir Alejandro will be right there waiting for you I thought that was a guard that spotted me but nope Alejandro is right there and you're gonna want to go ahead and head into the elevator shaft once you get here and you drop down from the ladder I crawl I climbed down the ladder just in case it made some noise I didn't want to alert anyone towards the end and you're gonna want to use the elevator to go up via the controls and all you need to do is get it to the second floor I went a little bit too high by accident and I didn't realize that so we went a little bit more down went ahead stopped it right there and once you stop the elevator here you're gonna want to look up at the top of the elevator doors and you'll have the emergency lock unlock that and boom just like that you are inside of the penthouse you've done it without getting alerted by any guards sounding the alarm anything at all you you haven't even killed anyone so with that being said the achievement will take a minute to pop and just right there ghost in training 60 gamer score easy as can be so thank you guys for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for more content of course we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye and remember to stay timeless